In this problem, we're going to take a look at finding the domain and range and the intercepts for a logarithmic function. The first thing, the domain, are the x's that when I put them in will give me out a real number answer. The log is telling me what exponent do I need on a base, in this case 2, to get the value that is inside this parenthesis. Well, uh, if I start with a positive base, I will never get 0 or a negative number as an answer. So therefore, this expression, x plus 2, whatever is in there, has to be not negative. So I say it means it has to be greater than 0. Solving that inequality, I get x is greater than negative 2. If I graph that on a number line, I would start at negative 2 and go to the right towards infinity. So my interval answer is parenthesis negative 2 to infinity, close parenthesis. And we do use the parentheses here because we do not want to include that endpoint. The range should be very straightforward. It's just going to be negative infinity to infinity. Uh, logarithms grow slowly, but they do grow. And if we go out far enough, we will get to whatever y value we want to achieve. The intercepts. All right, so an x-intercept means I'm crossing the x-axis, which means the y value has to be 0. So in this case, I don't have y, but I have f of x, which is the same thing. So I would set my logarithmic function equal to 0 and then begin to solve. Add the 5, and then you're kind of like, well, wh what do I do? This is not multiplication on the right. Um, it is a logarithmic expression. So that means that 2 is my base raised to this exponent over here of 5 should give me this value inside of here, x plus 2. So 2 to the 5th simplifies to 32, and then solving for x, we get 30. So my x-intercept, the point on the graph, is 30, 0. What about the y-intercept? Well, this time we have to let the x be 0, so we just plug in 0 for our x in our function, in our formula. Simplifying, we get the log base 2 of 2. Well, the answer to that is going to be what exponent do I put on the base here of 2 to get this answer here of 2? Well, 2 to the first is 2, so my answer would be 1, and then minus 5, final answer there is negative 4. Again, I want to give an ordered pair on my graph, so in this case it would be 0, negative 4. Now let me show you what it would look like if I want to graph it, if I can get that to go away. It's being there it goes. Okay. So here is my original function, y equals log base 2 of the quantity x plus 2 minus 5. I can't put that in a calculator, or in this case I use the gra um, Desmos online graphing calculator, but what I can do is use the change of base formula to get the graph. So the change of base formula says you use the common log, or natural log, I chose common log, of the inside expression divided by, again, the log of the base. So the log of the x plus 2 divided by the log of 2, and we still have our minus 5. That gives me this nice graph, and since each uh, tick mark here represents 2, we can see that yes, it does cross at negative 4 on the y-axis, and over here it did cross at 30 on the x-axis. So if you have an extra minute, go ahead and try checking your answers with your graphing technology.